I hear the SMGs are actually pretty decent, to be honest. Oh, look, we're starting to get water. That's the water tank. That's got purified water. Uh, yeah, that's coming into here and that's going into there. Okay. I'm not sure where there's purified water in here. Why is there purified water? Okay. I don't know. Barreled crude oil. Apparently we're getting barreled crude oil as well. Okay. Right. Um, let's get some sleep. Do you know what? I'm going to change out my... with the lone wolf thing cool that's fair all the SMG something kind of good just surprised when you started shooting it everything exploded into ice Every, yeah I'd say a lot of people saying the SMGs are, are really good I mean I've which SMGs do I have yeah see I've got the um, the little jaws which is unstable bomber fire rate 1000 Yes, yeah, so that's the same as the one you're using. It's just I've got the unstable bomber version. Yeah, you got the MPS five. Yeah, the Kuma wing. That's the one you were saying. It's got the fi a higher fire rate. See, I think that could be really good for like dealing with multiple like waves of enemies. That could be awesome. Like if you're on a boss and you've got loads of ads coming at you, this could do really good. I think with the bounce. And that could be really interesting when dealing with waves of enemies. Right, what I actually need to do now is I need to go and farm some tungsten. So that we can do some more weapon calibration. get steel though because I still make steel bullets and there are some big old house builds around here look at those things that's a big old build Eesh. that's actually pretty nice I quite like that it's like Two little houses with like a tower in the middle. Silver ore sat right here. Don't mind if I do. Tin. Hey, look, that's that's actually really quite nice. Look at the way he's done that. It's almost like a little little village thing. Going on here. He's got like two little houses. this little courtyard thing in the middle and he's got like this tower going up here that's quite interesting quite funky then look at this place this is like the these are all the people that have built the uh we're using all the pay paid stuff look and there's some more silver ore here i'm just going to run, run around rob all their silver ore because that's cool yeah that that's I mean, that's basically just like a tower with a bunch of balconies. This one's quite nice. quite like that. Kind of got a bit of a weird roof. Not 
not sure. This one looks like a greenhouse. Oh, he's got defense. There's a lot of houses around here. Hmm, interesting. So he's basically just got three cannons pointing out. But it doesn't look like any of them are doing, like... That's kind of odd. Like, he's got like, these towers around this side with the guns on. But it doesn't look like he's got his... I guess he's got his Stardust filter inside. You like the glass house? You just wish it wasn't $50. Free stuff looks nice on its own. Yeah, I agree. The free stuff looks pretty nice on its own. But like, I'm trying to figure out like the defense thing here. He's got like one on the roof. Like, like what's he trying to go with with the defense thing? This thing's... Well, this thing's almost like a city thing. Very flat with like a little greenhouse thing. I think this person, yeah, this person's rebuilding. This one here has done the same thing. It's got like these turrets. I wonder if these are all one hive because they all look very similar. They've got these like little turret mounts around. But for me, that just kind of spreads out the, the, the damage. This one's got Gatling cannons, shotguns. Yeah, see, this one is more what I'd expect. Look at this guy here. This is interesting. He's got the little sandbags. Interesting. So he's got, like, shotgun turret things. This is a lot of power to run, but like, he's got these generator things here. What I wouldn't do is have my generators next to the Stardust filter. Because if they get destroyed, you lose you lose your power, right? He's got a bunch. I mean, it looks nice with the sandbags. He's got a lot of guns. I'm not sure he's powering all these guns, is he? He's got a toy monkey there. And the other thing is he's got nothing, no walls around the Stardust generator. So things that chuck stuff at it can just hit it straight off. I mean, it, it looks nice. Just feel like your Stardust generator should be enclosed so it doesn't take any damage. And having your power supply next to it makes it kind of feel like you're going to have the power supply damaged then your guns won't work anymore. You know, that's that's my first thoughts. Nice looking places though. No doubt about that. They've taken this a lot of time and effort to build those places. I wonder if they built them in the first season and they just copied them. Maybe the guns take care of the mobs faster than they can destroy the core. Uh, I mean, maybe if they've got some sort of tech into it or something, but my guns certainly don't do that when I'm using uh, the rifles. I mean, he, I mean, they are, I mean, the thing is, they're not using any more guns than I am because their guns are so spread out. That only one gun is actually going to be hitting an enemy at any one point. That's why I kind of put mine like I did. So that I had all the guns pointing at the one target. To maximise the DPS. So I'm just wondering like, you know, they've only got one gun pointing at an enemy. I guess they're dealing with the fact that you could get a spawn from any side, right? So... Like when I'm looking at this and I go any enemy that has to approach my stardust filter one they can't damage it directly two every gun 
is going to be able to shoot the enemy. I don't know, it's an interesting one. Maybe if I go for my castle build, um, I will look and see if I can spread the guns out and see if that makes a difference. Once I've built it, I can then sort of play around with it. Oh, look, six silver bars. That's 36,000 link. All right, tungsten. 99. Cool, that's a lot of tungsten. Let's do the steel. I want to build a new aluminium. There's no more of that. Okay, and that's steel. Okay, I'm just going to wait for that to build. Yeah, I think um, that's one of the things once I've completed this area and 100% like it, all that, that stuff, like the story and everything. Maybe I'll go into Turner Land and play around with some builds. And then I can get a blueprint, make the blueprint in a Turner Land, and then bring that across. Because you, if you save a blueprint in a Turner Land, it's that you can then use it in the main season. The other thing that I noticed, their guns are all really high up on these platforms. And one of the problems I found with that is that when the mobs run in, they run into here, they sit under the guns and your guns can't shoot them, which is why I put my guns really low down on the floor. So I'm interested how they're dealing with all the mobs that are underneath. Because when I built, that's one of the reasons I changed. Like when I built... Where is it? Not here. So if I look at the blueprints, when I built this one, uh, this one here, what would happen is I have my guns. Originally, I didn't have all this floor area here. I had my guns at the top. And the, the enemies would run in and they were just bashing away here and the guns couldn't do anything because they were too high. So I built this floor area to put the guns around the floor on this one. Your guns don't have a problem shooting stuff below them unless they're high up. Well, say this is, I had platform guns here and they couldn't shoot mobs that were hitting these walls. There is a dead zone around, yeah, there is a dead zone there. And like, when I looked at this, when I did this one, This was based on having my star resonant filter in the middle here. But I found that the guns that I had, I'd like put them spread out, like one gun here, one gun in each corner. Like the damage was just so spread out. This was supposed to be like a bunker complex and they were supposed to be like, you know, you could have like, all sorts of t towers and turrets, but I just find this is like so spread out that the damage was spread out. Whereas on this, all my damage is like all in one place. That's kind of the aim of this, is to keep all the damage together. But as we've seen, like when I did it before, you know, if the mob spawns over this side, it will attack your base before it attacks the resonant filter. So maybe there is a, maybe they're, this, they're starting to look, because in season one, I didn't have as much of an issue. Seems like in season two, they've um, altered some of the spawn mechanics for the mobs for the resonant filter. Maybe it's done to stop this so that I had have to worry about people coming from behind and attacking the base. I don't know. It just seems like like you'd want it to put up enough guns to cover a big base. There just isn't the power. 
to do it because there's nothing that gives you a lot of power. Like, you can have, at most, at most, you get 35 watts out of a deviant thing. Deviation generator is 35 watts. That's the most you get. All right, you can only get four of them, I think. I don't know how people are running all those guns and all their equipment. I guess they just they turn all their equipment off for for the guns, maybe. When they do, when they do it, that could be one way to do it. It seems like a bit of a pain, though. Unless you're going to spend hours setting up switches. done so far is built a tower somewhere near the corner of the base that way most of the deviants will focus on the tower yeah well that's that's exactly what I've done here which is in the it, if I look at the base like it's as far forward as I can make it and it's yeah, okay, I could move it further over into the corner. Originally, my garage was in this corner, but I could move it further over into the corner. But I had a situation where literally my house line of sighted this, and it was for an elite. So the elite couldn't see it and couldn't get to it. So... What's going on with this? Why? doing purified water why this doesn't have any water in it it feels like this thing's not working or it's not doing water what the frick is it doing it's doing barrels of crude oil Why are they not giving me water? I'm in a water area. What do I do with the barrels of crude oil? Well, I guess I put it in here. Does it go? Yeah. Hmm. It's a shame. I wanted it to give me water, not... Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure in this whole tower defense thing. I don't. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it is better just to build these big bases with the guns around and just build more walls so that. But the, the mobs will seem to go through those walls pretty quick. So let's do some more. So this will take me to 316 damage. This will take me to 1785. This will take me to 323. And now I'm out. Can't do any more. 
I need a bit more tungsten, but I would need, and that would give me enough platinum crystal. So I'm up to, I'm up to six out of ten weapon calibration on my main weapon, and five out of ten on the sniper. Let's, because I've got the tungsten to do it. So let's do weapon calibration two on the melee weapon. And then, yeah, I can't do any more. Oh, I can do more on the goggles. So let's do the Mayfly goggles. And that's me now. I can't do any more. Okay. Well, we're definitely getting there with our calibration, that's for certain. Oh, silver ingot and golding. I might as well put the silver away for now. Because the vendor can't do any more. And if I run out of link, I'll just have to teleport to another vendor. In fact, I could... Do you know what? That might be something I should do now. I'm going to do that now because... It is getting pretty late. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be on. So let's teleport to... A vendor I haven't been to for a while. So let's go to... Deadsville. Okay, the thing I can do is I can all these containers to empty. Selling limit, 50,000. So there's 36,000 link. And 12,000 link. He's got 2,000 left. So we can now sell the cards. Here we go. We're back up to 80. We'll be up to about, about 85k link. Man, that gold and silver smelting is like a gift from the gods getting link. I don't know how I'm gonna survive without it in the next if I get I don't get it in the next season. Oh we've exceeded currency I can't do any more. <laughs> No, okay. Um, Alright, so... Actually, this is not enough to worry about. We've only got a few of those card things left. That's alright, we, we, that was worth it. We've got a ton of that. Right, do you know what? I might do one more area because it's like really close. Let's do one more area. So this area here is really close. And we've got a big quest here as well. Okay, so let's do the rift anchor first. And why have I got, I've got like, what am I tracking? So I'm tracking that one, not tracking that one. I don't know why I'm getting this other blue. Uh, that's kind of weird. Okay, let's get the bike. A lot of people building in this area now, though. I'm glad I got here when I did. If I'd been much longer, there wouldn't be much place to build. 
I guess it's right because it's near the Blackfell area here as well, the Blackfell oil fields, which is obviously a good area for farming. And someone's got a house built pretty much in it. a gear crate over here. Man, it's lots of... I didn't think you could build this close to a place like this, but apparently you can. Holy crap. And it is swarming with people here. Got another legendary mod. Um, it's supposed to be an elite here, but yeah, getting an elite round here might be tough. Oh, hang on, what's that? Yeah, that's not an elite, is it? as an elite, but still. Right, where am I going? So there should be a weapon crate in this building. Getting an elite here is going to be really hard. Oh, look, we've got a super anomaly. Oh, and a pyro dino. And that super anomaly got absolutely wasted. There's the elite. Oh, yes, there's an elite. There's an elite. There's an elite.
Um, Black Pill in general seems like it has everything you could need. It's a, yeah, it's an absolute brilliant area to um, to have a base close to it. I mean, my base is pretty close. It's not as close as some of these guys if I wanted mine near the water, but it's pretty close, right? Another worker got infected by stardust in the oil fields today. 